one of the things we talked about was alternatives to sand and salt. Can you talk a little bit about some things that you've tried in the past and how much sand and salt we go through and that kind of stuff? Yeah, we go through about 350 tons of salt and then probably another 350 tons of sand a year. Uh, it's a pre-wet. We, we, we've changed over to uh, what we didn't always used to see is when you added salt and sand, it would hit the pavement when it was dry and would walk, it, it would uh, go to the gutters. So now what we've done is we've pre-wet, we use a brine, 20% brine solution that goes onto the material as it comes out of the end of the truck. And what you're doing is pre-wetting that so it's sticking on the pavement better. So that's, we're, we're finding that we can, we're finding about a 10% decrease in salt use there. Um, Are there some alternatives to sand and salt that They've played around. They, they, people, some people have used beets, and we've heard people in North Dakota using uh, ground up beets okay. and different things like that. But uh, what happens is once you get into that, we're paying right now about sixty dollars a ton for salt. Okay, I've heard beets cost anywhere up to two hundred about two hundred dollars a ton. So. Usually, unless you have some kind of a supply of a material that is directly close to you, you're you're probably not. I mean, no, I know out uh, in wet in the west they'll use coal sometimes. Mm -hmm. Some different things. So, but we've looked, but nothing that's found anything cost yet. Yeah, it's yeah. Either. It's, yeah. Yeah. Where does the run does the salt and sand runoff go to the lake then in that same Correct. area as where same, the exact same area. Yeah. Uh, we do test we do test for it at the outlets. Okay. The sodium chloride. We do we do, do that, try to do it in the spring when we're getting the runoff. Uh, it's not terribly bad, but we do it when it's running off into the lake so but there's a lot of times you know where, where, where we don't pick it up so it's, it's kind of hard to tell yeah. uh, the other problem we have on that one of the main main road that goes through town is Flint Drive that is done by the state well what happens they've gotten better over the years what happens is their trucks go in one way come back the same way so they go out and they come back and they don't think they've got enough material they come back into Storm Lake they open their trucks all up and dump all the salt out before they get back and do that. So we, we've talked to them about trying to reduce that. And they've been, Doug's been pretty good about that. You understand. But, uh, the other thing we've changed in the last few years, we used to have a dump site that, that uh, the, drain, the drainage went into Little Storm Lake. Now we've got a brand new one that's out north of town that uh, we've got big open ditches and then they're allowed to grass up so all the runoff and the snow that we pick up is all that goes into those areas so it's filled in really well before it gets into the grid. Okay. Right. 